If you've ever used Photoshop for animation or motion graphics, you'll see a lot of similarities to Edge Animate. If we want to offset any of our animations, we can simply select each layer and slide this back and forth so they look like they're falling at a different time. In Photoshop, we're using the timeline here, and if you don't see this, it's under Window, Timeline. In earlier versions of Photoshop, this was referred to as animation. Now we have three penny layers here, and if we open up each layer, we see that we can animate the position, the opacity, and the style. And this stopwatch is very similar to what's actually in Edge Animate. So anytime we'd like a keyframe, we'd simply click the single button here. And we can also offset the keyframes and offset the animation by moving them around. In Edge Animate, we also set our keyframes by simply clicking on these little diamonds here. And anywhere in our properties, we have those same diamonds to add keyframes. So if you've worked with Photoshop's timeline in animating your layers, working in Edge Animate should be quite familiar to you as the timeline is very similar.